We just got done talking about parts A and B of this exercise here, looking at sets and set operations and then the relationship between um, two sets and, and understanding Venn diagrams to prove these relationships. I'm going to do one more from exercise uh, 18. I'm going to do part D and then the rest of them, so C and E, I'm going to leave you some matching problems on the quiz to complete to understand those Venn diagrams. So have those handy and go ahead and you could do the, the Venn diagrams for those sets, but they'll be clearly explained on the quiz hopefully. So if we go to this, let's just start with a blank page here. Let's try to uh, prove that if we take A minus C, intersect that with C minus B, we're going to get the empty set. Okay, so let's think about what the empty set would look like on our Venn diagram. Well, the empty set contains nothing, so there should be no region shaded in our Venn diagram to represent the empty set. So if we want to go the extra mile here, we could just label this set with nothing shaded in as the empty set. Now if we're trying to understand the Venn diagram of A minus C intersect C minus B, what I want to do is break this down just like you would when you were trying to build a truth table. So first I would shade and understand what A minus C is, so I'd do that Venn diagram first, then I'd shade and understand what C minus B is, and then I'll put these two Venn diagrams, join them together, figure out where they overlap to, to figure out what my final Venn diagram will look like. So let's go ahead and get that started. Let's figure out what A minus C is. So all that set subtraction means is just to take out the parts of C that are in A. So if we think about A, if we start with A, We've got this whole region here, right? We've got region 1, 2, 4, and 5, all shaded. Now, if we look at where there's parts of C, I see that C goes over onto 4 and 1, regions 4 and 1. So if we want to remove those parts from A, let's go ahead and just do that with an eraser here. So I'm going to remove part 4, hopefully here. And I'm also going to remove part 1. So anything that has C in it, I'm going to remove from my Venn diagram. So there we go. There's A minus C. So I started with my A, and I removed any part that had C. Now, let's try to understand what C minus B is. Really similar, right? We're going to start with C. And... So we've got region 7, region 4, region 1 region 3, all shaded in. But now, to get minus B, we're going to remove any part that is in B. So I'm just going to remove this here, right? Because that's the only part where B touches. So region 1 and 3 are going to be removed so that we only have C and none of B. So everything in B is taken out. Okay. Now, let's think about that. Let's think about what regions are shaded in, in each of these Venn diagrams. So in A minus C, I have regions 5 and 2. Okay. With uh, C minus B, with C minus B, I have regions 4 and 7. Now, if I'm trying to find the intersection of two sets, I want to know what those have in common, where they overlap. But if you notice here, there is no overlap. They don't have any regions in common. If I look, if I would, and I can do this, if I would go ahead and put them on the same Venn diagram, this sometimes helps to understand what the intersection might be. If I take this blue, I'm going to move it down to my same Venn diagram down here, so A. Now, if there were an intersection, then there should be blue and red somewhere, but there isn't, right? They have no regions in common. So this tells me that their intersection is empty. There's, they have nothing in common. So this tells me that A minus C intersect C minus B. 
is equal to the empty set. And if you think about this for a minute, I think it makes sense because on this first set, you're removing anything that has to do with C and keeping A. In this second set, you're removing anything that has to do with B and only keeping C. So in this first set, we know that there's nothing to do with C. And in the second set, we know there's only stuff to do with C. So obviously, they're not going to have anything in common. Okay, But you don't need to reason through it, right? This is a visual proof. If I were just to present these two Venn diagrams of um, A minus C and C minus B, if I were to present these two Venn diagrams, that would be visual proof that the intersection is empty and they have nothing in common. Okay. So now let's do one more Venn diagram, uh, well two more Venn diagrams, to understand some new, uh, some new sets and set relationships. So now on this example we're not given the relationship. We are supposed to figure out what the relationship is. So let's let's work to do that. And notice what's happening. Think about um, think about that distribution of and and or. Okay, this is really similar because I want you to realize that set subtraction is just like intersection with the complement. Okay. Let me actually let me just oops b. Let me prove that to you here. So a minus b. This means take a and remove anything that has to do with B. Okay, So that just leaves me regions 5 and 4. Now A intersect B complement. Let's, uh, let's do two colors here to understand what's going on here. So I'm going to take A to be blue. A will be blue. So I'm going to shade in A. So I've got regions 1, 2, 4, and 5. B let's do in green, OK? So B complement, B complement is everything outside of B. So any region that's not in B is going to be shaded. Oops, we've got this piece too, right? So that's why it's tricky. You've got to really think about your regions instead of the shading, because shading uh, is easy to make mistakes. So notice that the only thing that's left over, the only thing where there's green and blue, is this little portion here, which is the same thing here. So hopefully you're convinced here. Let's see. Hopefully you're convinced that A intersect B complement is just A with B removed from it. Okay. So this means take A and what's overlapped with stuff that's not in B. Okay. Um, so that was a bit of a side note, but I, I guess I wanted to show you the relationship with that intersection and union. Um, it's really similar to the and and or. Um, like if we take A intersect B, here let's say, let's say A intersect B union C, can write that as A intersect B union A intersect C. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see the similarity in in this relationship in this relationship. Okay. All right. So now let's get to the problem at hand here. Let's start with A minus B union A minus C. A minus B union A minus C. And I'm going to break this down in pieces. Notice these two operations are grouped with parentheses, so that tells me I need to do them first. So what I'm going to do is create a Venn diagram for A minus V, can create a Venn diagram for A minus C, and then unite those Venn diagrams. So let's start with A minus B. So remember that's everything in A that's not in B, so we're going to take A but not shade in B. Okay, so I've got regions 4 and 5. Okay, now if I think about A minus C, I've got everything in A that's not in C. 
So I've got regions 5 and 2. So union, I want to think about uniting. So if it's in A minus B, I'm going to take it. If it's in A minus C, I'm going to take it. So for sure, I'm going to take regions 4 and 5. And I already listed 5, I don't need to again, but then I'm going to take 2 also. So in A minus B, union B A minus C, I've got 4, 5, and 2. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, go ahead and add on to this second one here. So I'm going to write this one as A minus B, union A minus C, and just add in that region 4 there. So I've got 4, 5, and 2 for my regions of this. Okay. Now let's try to understand A minus B intersect C. And again, we've got a set that's grouped there, an operation that's grouped, the B intersect C. So we want to make sure that we complete that operation first. So if I think about B intersect C, let's start by thinking about that. So uh, B intersect C is what B and C have in common. So where B and C are both happening is in regions 1 and 3. So regions 1 and 3. And 3. Now, if I think about A, I'm going to go ahead and do A on the same Venn diagram. And, and this is just my scratch background work, OK? And it'll be important that you include this stuff so I can better understand um, what's going on in your work, OK? So make sure you show me all your steps in a bunch of Venn diagrams if you can, OK? Um, so let's think about what A is. A is just all this region here, region 5, 4, 1, and 2. 5, 4, 1, and 2. So this is saying, take everything that's in A, but remove any parts of B or intersect C. Well, let's see. So I, I'm going to take region 4, because that wasn't removed. I'm not going to take 1, because that would be removed here. I'm going to take 2, because that wasn't removed. And then I'm going to take 5, because that wasn't removed. So now I've got A minus. B intersect C. So I can think about this and just kind of reason through what this Venn diagram means. It means I'm going to look at A, and then I'm going to remove any part where B and C are happening. And the only place in A of the four regions that are colored in for A where B and C are happening is on, on region 1. Okay, But then we can see we get the same thing. So this allows us to conclude that A minus B union A minus C is equal to A minus B intersect C. Okay, So there'll be a few more matching and, and problems and things like that for you to do on the quiz. And then we'll come back and we'll be talking about rules of inference. Talk to you soon. Let me know if there's any questions or issues.